Hello guys, this is Ryan and we are going to once again do the basic calculus free response question and this time we are going to look at 2016 um, uh, free response number 5 and uh, at this time the answer isn't released yet but I am going to give it a try and try hey, that's to illegal, bro. Um, try to come up with the answer for this question and uh, that's alright dude, you can't do that and we are gonna go right into the question. Let's oh, dive you, on you in. Can't do that, dude. And A right, is asking for the average value of the radius of the funnel. And the average radius um, is can be simply um, obtained by looking at this equation over here, which is r equals one over twenty times three plus h squared. And we are given the interval of the height, which is 0 to 10. And then what we want to do is we want to find the average. And um, if we want to find the average, then we want to uh, um, add the minimum, like minimum height and the maximum height, I mean maximum radius together and divided by 2. It's as simple as that. And if you do the math out you get 2.65 inches as your answer and that is the average radius of the funnel and B is asking for the volume of the funnel and the volume since we don't really know the equation for this kind of shape because it is a bit of a complicated shape so we want to kind of cut this into little circles and we want to integrate them um, into kind of a cylindrical model so what we want to do is to set up a basic equation to find the volume and that equation is pi times integration from a to b times r squared which is a radius squared and a to b would be 0 to 10, r would be the given equation that we have for this problem which is 1 over 20 times 3 plus h squared so if we plug that in 120 times 3 plus h squared squared and dh we get something like 174 actually 173 0.494 inch squared and let's move on to number C and C is asking that for the rate of change of the height with respect of time given that the liquid is decreasing at a rate of 1 over 5 inch per second and at height equals 3 and what we want to do is we want to kind of break this equation down into two parts because we want to take derivative of the radius function uh, in respect to height and the equation can be broken down to 3 over 20 plus h squared over 20 and that's basically the same thing as what we have in the question what we have uh, for the given and then if we do the d dh basically if we just take derivative of the whole equation we get something like um, dr equals um, this this thing becomes zero if you take the derivative so only thing that's left is h over 10 times dh and we are given that the height of the liquid is 3 inches and the rate of radius is decreasing at 1 over 5 inch per second so we are given this two valuable valuable information so one half would fit into dr and height will be 3 times dh and then if we solve that out we get um, let's do the math we get uh, 2 over 3 equals dh, dh and dh is basically just change in height in respect of time so that would be 2 over 3 
inch per second.